Hi everybody, Julian here. Welcome to the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. I hope you are doing well and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to present to you four guitars from three legendary guitar luthiers. Let's get into it. The first guitar of this week is made by one of the most influential guitar luthiers from Spain, Paulino Benabe. And this guitar is a vintage Paulino Benabe. It's from 1984 and it's also in a very good condition. We have a cedar top on this guitar and beautiful Brazilian rosewood back and sides. And this guitar has a 660 millimeters scale. Let's see how it sounds. Oh my god, the sustain of this guitar is incredible. It has such a forward going sound and driving sound, but at the same time it doesn't sound harsh at all. Wow. And it's very even. very well balanced. And also a very singing tone.
I can definitely say for me personally, this is one of the best and most enjoyable Paulino Benave guitars what I have ever played uh, because of the beautiful singing tone, very forward going sound, but not harsh. Um, yeah, fantastic guitar. Let's move to the next guitar. This guitar is a fascinating guitar made by the Australian guitar luthier, Jim Redgate. And this guitar is brand new from 2023 and the Jim Redgate guitars have a lettuce braised top and this guitar has a cedar top and very beautiful Ciricot back and sides. This is an Anavidovich model. You have also an arm set here and um, it's a very light guitar. If I think um, of Australian guitars, I usually expect a very heavy weight guitar, but this is very light in comparison to other Australian guitars. And um, Jim Redgate guitars are very, very well known because one of the most uh, and best uh, classical guitarists like Anna Vidovich is playing Jim Redgate guitars since years and they are truly special guitars. And let's see how this guitar sounds. I have straight away, I'm feeling a wow effect on this guitar. Straight away from the first chord, from the first tone, it's very loud, it's really impressive. But not only loud, also the quality of the tone is very, very good. It's not a tone with some very weird overtones and unbalanced um, sound. This is very even beautiful tone, nice overtones and very loud. Wow, impressive sounding guitar. also very very well to your fingers
modern guitar and you have still the wide palette of colors so this is also um, one of the best Redgate guitars I have ever played. Wow, so congrats to Jim Redgate for this beautiful instrument or piece of art. Maybe I will play a last short piece on it. Just a very short break, a one second break. And before we continue with the next guitar, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you to have a better idea of the sound of the guitars, please leave a like. And if you didn't subscribe to our channel already, please do that. And let's move to the next guitar. This guitar is made by the probably most well-known Japanese guitar luthier, Masaru Kono. And this guitar is a, also a vintage Masaru Kono guitar because it's from 1973 and it's in a very good condition. I mean, this guitar is nearly 15, uh, sorry, 50 years old. And I think my guitar after five years would look a little bit different. But anyway, and this is a number 10 model. We have a cedar top and Indian rosewood back and sides. Let's see how it sounds. It's just beautiful. The tone is just beautiful. So soft, but at the same time, it's going forward. It's a little bit, in some terms, similar to the Paulino Benabe guitar, because it also sounds very soft and it's going forward. So it's loud, but it's not harsh. Also very singing tone.
Also, this guitar is, as the Paulino Benabe, very enjoyable guitar. This is, for me personally, also a little bit easier to play. I think it's maybe because of the scale length. So it has a normal scale, 650 millimeters scale. And the reason why I personally think that both Masaru Kono and Paulino Bernabe are two very important guitar luthiers is that the guitars of these two guitar luthiers are somehow a bridge between being a good classical guitarist and becoming a very professional classical guitarist. Because if you are studying classical guitar at some point, uh, I mean, if you are studying at a university, at some point you need a very professional guitar to be able to enhance your musical ideas. And these two guitars, or these two guitar luthiers, offers guitars which are also very affordable for students, but at the same time, these guitars open a lot of doors for musicians. And uh, I think also the Thibu Garcia is playing a Paulino Benabe guitar and he has given us a lot of concerts on this guitar. I think he's still playing on that guitar. That's why I think it could be also for a lot of guitarists life-changing to play on these guitars. I would say let's do the next guitar. It's also a Masaru Kuno, number five. So, as I already told you, this is a Masaru Kuno number five model. And this is even older than the other guitar, than the other Masaru Kono. It's from 1968. And this is even in a better condition than the other one. I'm amazed. So congrats to the pre-owners of this guitar for keeping this guitar like this. Wow. And this guitar is, the, the top is spruce and we have Indian rosewood back and sides. Let's see how it sounds. I'm really so impressed. I mean, I knew that Masaru Kono guitars, especially the vintage ones, that they sound very well. But again, I have realized how well balanced these guitars are. And if you listen to the sustain of this guitar, it's like that all the tones are very even and you don't hear You don't hear a tone which is louder than the other one. This is incredible. And this guitar has also a more sweet sound in comparison to the other Masaru Kono which had a cedar top.
sorry. joy also to play this guitar. Today is somehow a very traditional um, weekly guitar meeting, which is also fine. Very important. Let me know what do you think about the sound of these guitars and which one did you like the most? For me, they sound somehow a little bit similar in terms of sustain, warm sound, well-balanced sound. And uh, yeah, so I'm very curious about your opinion. It was also the last guitar of this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting. Please don't forget to leave a like if you like this video, if it was helpful for you to have a better idea of the sound of these guitars. And I wish you a happy weekend and hope to see you next week. Bye.